you remember like last week when I told you about something that's for me but kind of for me also yeah oh okay yeah for me but you're gonna get more enjoyment out of it I want to see okay <laughs> Drip? <laughs> Drip? <laughs> Come on. Come on, babe. The matching set? It's amazing. <laughs> One of our friends found it at the bins and posted wow. it. And then like three people messaged me and they were like, you need this in your life. And I was wow. like, you know what? I really do. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Couldn't be more attractive right now. Right? <laughs> I can't believe they made this an adult size. I love for it. Men. For men. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> what is up guys and girls? I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ellie Roots. And, and together, together we are Rally Roots. Roots. Had a look. It is 9.08 a.m. on Ooh. November 4th. Today we're going thrifting. We One are. of our favorite things to do together as a couple. It is. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to thrift stores today looking for stuff that we can buy and then flip online for a profit. If you like videos like this, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you don't like videos like this, just hit the thumbs up button and don't subscribe, subscribe to, the to the channel. Also subscribe <laughs> and share it with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Blue's not on sale. I thought Blue was. Blue's not on sale. It's Stephen Ed. I thought I saw blue. This would be good if it was half off. Men's large. So you said everything but blue, right? Everything but blue. Alright. The shoes are pretty cleaned out. Everything's pretty cleaned out, actually. It's weird. It's like maybe they had a huge crazy sale. Yeah. But this that is, we didn't know about. These are the shoes I found. So these are blue then. But they're 15 They're only $15. Okay. So possibly still some Kohans. Okay. I feel like Brand have OS. Cole Han's been doing well right now. They haven't been doing as well. No, yeah. I don't think. And then Keens. Okay. Six bucks or something. This is a really nice pair of Keens. Oh yeah, they're like ombre. Five bucks. Half off, yeah. It's not terrible. And then some boosts. Boosts. So these would be ten, which is probably good. Pretty nice. Too. Yeah. Yeah, they're not badly worn. They're pretty clean. Too. And then, what color were these? Docks? Oh, uh, white. But they're only $8. White's on sale. Oh, white is on sale? What's 75% off, right? No, yellow. Oh, uh, okay. You're just mixing up the color of the outside. <laughs> so these would only be $4? These have a different I price mean, on them. They do? But these say $7.99. I think someone put that sticker on, maybe. First stick of the That's weird. I know. Well, we'll have to find out then, I guess. We love these. I love those. Such good colors. It's a good one. A little Kooji esque. And this is. You can tell by the stitching. It would only be $4. It's a I brass. I want this brass pineapple. Brass pineapple. Pineapple. How much okay, is it for? I really dollars? want it. What well, would you? Oh, it is things. actually solid brass. No, That's crazy. Please. I mean, yeah, I get it. Okay. It's a nice pattern, Tommy Bahama. I feel like this should make it jacks better though. No. <laughs> What's that for? It'd be five bucks. I mean, that's that nice for personal. <laughs> Good like personal shirt. Nice little Carhartt shirt. This brand's been going nuts. If you can find the jackets. Oh, I did see some jackets. You saw Carhartt jackets? Yeah. Show me. Like the, the heavy ones? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Show me. Oh, I don't, I mean, they're there. Oh, let's go look Show for me. them again. Yeah. yeah, let's. Cause ever since Kanye West wore that Carhartt jacket. I swear I saw at least one. Okay? 
No? No Carhartt jackets? Oh my god. There's this old Reebok jacket, but it wasn't cool enough. Mm. So I left it. But since you're here, I'm gonna show you. That's a cool little fast cut. Oh snap, you did find one. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's nice. A little Carhartt. Huh. Alright. That's probably a good good little score there, babe. Some pretty cool Tommy trunks. Dang, those are sweet. I would wear those. Vintage Tommy little figure trunks. Sizey, size large. Eight bucks. Those are pretty sweet. I saw that. Did you? I, I just picked saw it up. It. I was trying to figure out what it was, and then I looked inside, and there's a U.S. patent number mm. in there. And I looked up the patent number, and it's so cool. There's like a diagram and everything of the, the hat. Really? The patent was filed in 1947. Wow. And then the, it was completed in 51. I found that the, the hat. Oh. Yeah, so that's the hat, but it's like part of a uniform, the whole uniform was there. So that's kind of cool that I did find it. That's the exact hat, like inside of it. The pants and everything. So it's not worth much, but... Dang. What a cool piece of history. What'd you find? Wall baskets. Oh, nice. Cool. It's cheap enough. They look yeah. high now, because people are like buying them new and stuff. True. I'm really not seeing much, though. Oh, we might have to go somewhere else. Yeah. I think, I think so. Maybe pick up a couple pairs of these shoes and... Bust out of here? Yeah. So nothing too crazy at that thrift store today. Uh, picked up just a couple things to resell. Ali found a cool vintage coach purse. And then on the way out, it's getting close to me. Not that <laughs> close. Um, on the way out behind the counter, I saw an Apple uh, keyboard sealed, still in the shrink wrap half off so only $25 on that and the cheapest one listed was like 65 plus shipping oh so i think we should be able to, and stuff like that sells so fast so Christmas. i think yeah we should be able to make a good like 25 to 30 dollars gross on that so just wanted to pause the video here quick because that apple keyboard did already sell i listed it for $75 with free shipping and it sold same day so it paid $25 listed for 75 it costs like 12 bucks to ship it so we more than doubled our money on that like 28 dollars profit goodbye 25 i mean doubling our money right for a fast sale you don't think it's fake right because it was no. brand new donated to a thrift store no it's not okay. fake i scanned it upc showing right the model number showing right so it's all good um good. so now we're gonna go get some indian food yeah this is my favorite cuisine and then we're gonna go to salvation army or goodwill yeah, both. One or two more thrift stores. Yes, we're giving up tacos for Indian food today. Mm -hmm. Giving up tacos for Indian food. All right. Let's go. It's a whole Indian market. This is where I'm gonna buy rose water. It smells so good. The rose water prices are really good. I bought this one. I paid eight dollars. Look at all the treats. So many treats. Oh my goodness. What should we get? Yeah, quite oh the God. spread. It's like Indian Chinese food. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Chili chicken. I've never had this. Chicken curry, lentils, goat. Mm -hmm. Smells <laughs> yum. So we ordered like double what we probably should have. It was only thirty bucks for all this food, though. So we ended up going to Salvation Army and took a look around, and all I was able to find was an untucked shirt. But it was a size small, so I decided just to leave that one behind. Then we went to Goodwill and I found a nice pair of men's Air Max, Nike Air Max shoes, but the condition wasn't good. So the heel was kind of messed up, the back part of the shoe was a little bit messed up, so again, I ended up leaving those behind because they were $15. I also found a nice pair of Doc Martens, but same thing with those. The back heel parts had holes in them, so I had to leave those behind as well. But finally, as I was looking through the racks at that Goodwill, I did find a genuine, or what I believe to be a genuine Burberry button-up short sleeve shirt and it was only five dollars. Alrighty so thrift stores were kind of a bust today. I mean we we were super picky though. We made sure we didn't buy anything that mm -hmm. you know we we couldn't make a decent amount of money on. Fast enough 
as well. Yeah, we want a good fast sell through rate too. Yeah. Um, there were a couple of items we would have picked up if we weren't worried about selling them as fast or if we had a lot of fast selling items because it's okay to buy some items that you have to sit on a bit longer mm -hmm. If you're going to make a really good profit on them, if you have a bunch of items that are selling fast. So you need a balance. Yeah, and, and make sure to look up like what items are actually selling for now. Don't go based on, you know, what something sold for a year ago. Go based on actual recent sold comps. Um, and then also condition's a huge factor. So like I put back a lot of pairs of shoes today because they had like small condition flaws that I just didn't want to deal with. Like, you know, holes in the back heel or... Um, too dirty, didn't want to take the time to clean it, so. There was like a scuff on the front of those Doc Martens where the leather itself was damaged. It wasn't that they were just right. dirty, but it was actually damaged. So because we were a little iffy on them, they were really small. Yeah. So we were worried about that. We put them back because of that scuff. If that scuff wasn't there where the leather was damaged, we would have bought them. Like they were just dirty, we could have wiped that off. Right. Yeah. So we picked up four items to resell. Um, first item was the Mac keyboard. Picked that up for $25. I actually already took pictures of it and got it listed. So that one's currently, that. yeah, it's, it's listed for $75 or yeah. best offer right now. So we'll double our money on that. Um, and then the vintage coach purse that Ali found. It'll be $7.50 into potentially $40, you know? Cool. Yeah. And this can go, what, in like a regional A or something? Probably $8 oh, to $10 definitely. to ship it. Yeah, it could go in a padded flat rate if it's puffed up on the inside nicely. Vintage Coach does well if you can like take good pictures and list it the right way. You can get good money for it. Yeah, and what's nice about you know this purse in particular, it's black on the inside, so it doesn't look all gross and yucky like a lot True. of purses. Whenever they're lighter on the inside, you can see all of the flaws and they don't mm. look so great. You know. So Coach purse and then the Carhartt jacket, um, canvas on the inside, like cotton, nice cotton. Or sorry, canvas on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> like a nice cotton on the inside, on the inside size extra large. Good condition. Um, that was ten dollars. I think we should be able to get probably fifty, sixty bucks for that fairly easily. I did not know this, guys. So you don't know everything. Only certain Carhartt jackets are doing well. The canvas ones are doing much better, and the brown ones are doing the best. So yeah, didn't know that. It's a good brand to look out for right now. I went back and grabbed it because Ryan yeah. mentioned that. Yeah. Like of all the things you could have mentioned, you mentioned that. I'm glad it triggered your memory though. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. And then lastly, the Burberry uh, button, short sleeve button up. Um, I'm pretty certain that that's genuine. Yeah. I'm like 99% on it. The stitching's too good. The buttons have the branding on them. All the tags are there. The labels are there. And I found the same pattern online. So I think it's good. It was on there, was it five bucks? Yeah, it was yeah, five, five dollars. So, I mean, you know, retail on it is over 200. So if we can turn- Why? If we can turn, cause of Burberry. This? Yeah. If we can turn five into $50 plus, I'd be happy with that. I'm not impressed sure. with the quality of Burberry, that's for sure. The, not this one in particular. I mean, Burberry makes some good stuff, but this particular item is an amazing quality. But you know what? Someone's going to love it, I'm sure. Good for them. Boom. So, like I said, you know, quality over quantity on trips for us now is what, yes. we're, what we're after. Because we have to take our time into factor. We have to take paying employees, paying uh, sell hound will pay to list sometimes for us. We have utilities and all the other stuff that goes into running a business. Yes. Luckily, we also make a little bit of money from making these videos too. So that helps when we're out thrifting. <laughs> <laughs> sure. um, but you know, the most important thing is it's, it's fun. We had a good time doing it and it was good to spend the day with you. Yeah. We could show you guys the things that we would have bought and then we didn't mm -hmm. buy and then the things we didn't buy and why we didn't buy them. So hopefully you learned something as well from our experiences. Today. Yeah. And let us know in the comments, like, what do you want to see from us in the future? Like, should we do more thrift store challenges? Should we maybe go on like a thrift road trip? I know you guys like those. So let us know in the comments, like, how should we do this in the future? Yeah, what do you want to see? What do you want see? from us? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from us? <laughs> but as always, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ayers. And together, and together we, we are Rally Roots. Peace out, guys. Bye. Bye.